Washington State. Try another mask, Brandon. Okay, it's a nice one. These are all Indian masks, the Northwest Indians. Okay. Very cute. Very interesting. Bring a mask. Prove it's John. Are you John? Yeah, I'm John. Where's your, where's your other face at? It's He's him. <laughs> this is the Burke Memorial Room here. Bridgie enjoys this stained glass window. Here's another stained glass window. The famous Allosaurus, carnivorous dinosaur. Here's some humanoid species over here. Ice Age ground sloth. Some young humanoids here. If you're curious, here's the outside of the Burke Museum. We just left this. We're going to someplace else in Seattle. We're with the girls inside. sunshine there. Let's go, Brandon. There's this famous Seattle Space Needle, built in 1961 for the Seattle World's Fair. Let's go check it out. Second. Most of the gates. Eight hundred feet per minute, 
It'll take us 41 seconds to reach the revolving restaurants. They're at 500 feet. The observation deck is 20 feet above that. The overall height is 605 feet or 184 meters. This space is privately owned. It was built as the symbol tower for the World's Fair in 1962. And they came up with the final design a year and a half before the fair opened. It took 400 days to build at a cost of four and a half billion dollars. This is our north elevator down to the right of Lake Union. You can see the Cascade Mountains, also Mount Baker, which is over 100 miles away. Oh. <laughs> 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 the rest all out when you stop there. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> down there? They said they look like Hot Wheels cars. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. for landing over there. Where? I don't see an airport. It lands in water. It's a seaplane. I don't see any water. It's to the left of the space needle. Right. Great. Let's find our... Oh, right over there? Which one? That's where we stayed with the, the ACSI convention. Can I see it in one? here? There's McDonald's and there's a building and then on the other side of that building there's a hotel that's no name on it. There's McDonald's. The ACSI there's your convention. hotel. And our car. I'll show here. it to you. Our car is right there. The blue car next to the white car on the end in the aisle there. There we are. Okay, are you gonna get that drought garden too? I already got that. Oh okay. And it, there's the drought garden right right directly below us. Do it again. Is the drought garden center frame there? There it is. Are you videotaping? Yeah, what are you, ah! what are you doing? Hi, Mark. Hi. This is Mark in Seattle. Now, in the wild. And here are the boys, here are the boys waiting patiently for dinner. Do you have some comments to make here, John? Yes. Actually, it's in the wild, and you're seeing two flamingos fight over a piece of fish. I mean, no. 
How tall is it? 605 feet to the very top. Nice. I want to go on that water slide. Wow, 605 is a science center. Oh, that's, a that's almost three times as high as this one. Almost. Daddy, I want to go on that water slide. Back to the drought sculpture once again. I thought I noticed last time there's a cloud up there about to burst for us with, with rain. Well, of course, what's fascinating is that we're standing under one of those glass skylights. And they are fascinating on lots of different levels. 
Um, they look so different down here than they do up above. And because we kind of came the wrong way to get here, we got a chance to see them. And somebody on the crew called Bill and uh, said, Bill, you want one of these old water pipes for the tour? Of course, he said yes, and he decided to get it. He knew that somebody would be here with a video camera, uh, you know, getting those auger marks. <laughs> Oh, isn't that pretty? The original crapper toilet, imported from England. Cheese factory here in Tillamook, Oregon. Looking across the street, we'll go there some year.